Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Knives. It's your host Fletcher, and today we are doing a multi-tool carry update. This will probably be our final update, and then we're going to get a review in on this guy. This is the Leatherman Free T4. I've been carrying this guy for well over a month. And just some preliminary thoughts before the final review, because I'll kind of just go over everything again in the final review. So in terms of multi-tool use recently, it's been rather light. You know, haven't really had to use much. Mainly what's been getting the brunt of the work from this guy is, wait for it, this. Bottle opener and Phillips. And as you can see, it has the most wear on it. So I actually just used this today. Same story, there's that cabinet at work that just doesn't, doesn't like, there's a little knob on it that we use to lift up and unlocks it and then we can open it well that eventually likes to work its way out so when i feel it's loose and I'm, I'm over in that area i'll just tighten it up it takes me 30 seconds call it done but the, this actually does a rather good job you know it's not it's a 3d but it's not like a quarter inch bit but it still grabs rather well i'm, I'm always impressed by how well it does the bottle opener i don't I don't know who designed this, but they did a fantastic job. You just get that on there and pop. You were good to go. It's, it is probably as good as the one on the Jefferson. The one on the Jefferson from ASK was phenomenal. The scissors, you know, used them a couple times. Not all that much. Let's see if there's anything else I've gotten to use. I think I've used this for some light scraping at one time, and I think it did all right, but I can't remember too much about it. You know, it wasn't like impressive, it wasn't stellar. The knife on it, I, I'm still on that one edge from sharpening just because I've been carrying K390, and K390 just does not quit, so I haven't really had to, you know, to use this. When people do ask for a knife, this is what I lend them. I just lend them the multi-tool, and one thing I have noticed is that everyone asks me how to close it. <laughs> they don't think that the tab is, you know, the lock, so. Besides having to use this to pry the brake pads, I haven't really had to use the flathead all that much. Times I did use it actually were for range finders at work. And, you know, just kind of a little gentle with it. You know, I'm not trying to scratch the paint off or anything. And it does a great job at that. One thing I will say is when I first started carrying this, I noticed that it was in my left pocket. But through time, it just kind of just became part of my work carry. One thing I will say is it is somewhat like square and wide. So it kind of feels slightly weird at first in the pocket. But eventually it just... You just get used to it. And because it is square, it kind of just tucks in the corner of your pocket, which is rather nice. I do, I do rather enjoy that. Let's see. I do also, I do like how quick it is to get tools out. Like I just, and if I only have one hand, I just pull them out like that. Tweezers, I think I've only had to use a couple times. So, and they're decent tweezers. I wouldn't say they're the best, but they're not the worst. For a multi-tool pair of tweezers, they're just as good as the Victorinox. Let's see, I haven't really had a problem with anything else. This this dude's just been chilling, it just sits there, and no problem with the clip or anything like that. It, I don't normally have to use a multi-tool a whole lot, but when I do, I, I tend to actually need it, you know, and it, it tends to fulfill a rather important purpose. And So just having something that's not, you know, too heavy, it's probably about the weight of a normal knife, three, three and a half to four ounces, if I had to guess, just off of weight. Sits pretty well in the pocket. I have not had to... I th Actually, I think I did try and file something, but it was just too hard for it. And so I ended up not. I think it was like an, a screw that was sticking out. I tried to file it. And, you know, it's, it's hard steel. So the, I think this is more of a... Uh, definitely a wood file. Kind of, you know 
if you need to knock something down real quick, that's definitely what it's for. Thank you so much, guys, for sticking around. If you have some stories about your Leatherman T4, if you're thinking of picking one up, maybe you have some questions, why don't you tuck them down below in the comments section? Anything's appreciated. If you enjoyed this video, and if you enjoyed my other videos, please do subscribe. It helps out the channel, and you get notified if you turn on that notification bell and you're subscribed to when there's new content, which means more entertainment for you. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this and you would like to support the channel, you can also join the Patreon. It's in the link down below. Helps get me be able to first do the channel, but it also allows me to purchase tools like this that I can then test and let you guys know how they perform. As always, guys, I'm grateful for your time, and thank you so much for watching, and don't you forget to stay sharp.